All motivations and inspirations are childish. First, let's talk about motivation. All motivations are projections of your ego, your false identities. Motivations are appreciation of your desires. Motivation means to get excited to achieve something, to get fueled to do something so that by achieving the goal you can get a pleasurable or famous life. You may ask then what is wrong in it, why you say it childish. The paradox is your very need for motivation to do or to achieve something is the proof that you are not meant for that work. Your interest is not interested in that work. So doing that work out of motivation is nothing but forcing your being to be in a certain disciplined way which it doesn't want to. And hardly any fruitful thing can come out of enforcement. If you really want to do something, do it by understanding its importance, reality and valid reasons for doing it instead of caffeining by motivation. No wise man has ever known to have attained wisdom and success by motivation. Wisdom and success can only come out of your own aware understanding of reality. Now let's come to inspirations. Inspirations are okay if you're not much concerned about aesthetics and purity, but you must concern it because aesthetics is godliness. To be aesthetics is one of the highest qualities. See, in existence, eyes, each and every individual, including animals and other abiotic things, has its own pristine and authentic value. And to be inspired by someone means you liked your idol so much that you also want to be like her or to do like her. But that is against authenticity of existence. No one can be like anyone else. You can only be yourself. You can only complete yourself. So that is why I said inspirations too are kind of childish. Because it lowers your pristine authentic value that existence gave to you. Instead, search for yourself, discover who you are, what is your essence, what is the reality of this colorful world. You will find that you are actually that which you cannot even think of becoming in dream.